Hey, what's going on out there, fish fam? Ray Sharifi here with Dirty Hookers, and tomorrow we're gonna to be fishing aboard the Speed Twin for my dad's birthday. Usually I wouldn't do a tackle bag breakdown for a typical trip like this, but I've been getting a lot of questions on tackle recommendations, specifically lately, because there has been bluefin being caught out of the Channel Island Sport Fishing Fleet. So because of that, I'm gonna show you guys what all I am bringing. I'm not gonna be bringing everything I usually would on a bluefin tuna trip, just mainly because it is mostly foamer fishing right now. And over the last day or two, most of the full day boats have not been catching bluefin but i am going to be bringing at least one setup specifically for bluefin just in case we do run into those fish but to get that one out of the way because that's what most of you want to know right now i would be bringing about a 60 pound to 100 pound setup right here i have a phoenix axis 7 8 and it's rated 40 to 100 pounds so this is your typical 60 to 80 pound setup right now i have it spooled up with about 350 yards of 80 pound braid attached to about 50 yards of 80 pound monofilament i'm either going to be using this setup for one of two things either i'm going to use it to cast smaller but heavy metal baits something like a daiwa sk jig shimano colt sniper and or even the new rw peanuts so this one specifically is an 80 gram i also have the 100 grams that i'm going to be bringing as well but basically just your metal smaller profile bait presentations is what you want to focus on if you need a little bit more confidence go ahead and get like a little two foot bite leader of 150 to 200 pounds just if that boosts a little bit more confidence for you and the other setup that i might be doing if we come onto a meter school and they're not foaming i'll be tying an 80 pound fluorocarbon leader to this and turning it into a rubber band rig if I thought that there was a little bit higher shot at coming into some of these fish, I would be bringing one other setup. But just to be courteous to some of the passengers that'll be on board with us, I'm gonna be keeping my rods limited. Um, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my two other setups that I'm bringing, one that you might see a lot of tomorrow. This is my Phoenix Axis 1009 HJ. It's rated 30 to 60 pound, 10 foot rod paired with a Trinidad 16A. This is a setup that you guys have been coming very, very familiar with throughout my videos. Yellowtail rod, Barracuda rod, Bonita rod. There has been really, really good numbers on Calico bass, really good numbers on Barracuda lately, and also Bonito and some Yellowtail hit and miss. I have been showing up in the counts lately, so I'm gonna be making sure to bring my surface iron setup. And then lastly is gonna be my bass setup. This is a Phoenix M1 Inshored 711 medium head beat. It's rated 15 to 35 pound test. The reason why I'm picking this one instead of bringing one lighter setup and one a little bit heavier setup is again to reduce the amount of rods being courteous of my passengers because this is a bigger boat I want to be able to minimize the amount of rod space that I have to use for the rod holders so this one's gonna be kind of universal it'll be light enough to be fun on smaller fish and just heavy enough to still handle some of the bigger fish if there's bigger barracuda or bigger bass that bite so this one I'll mainly be fishing plastics, jerk bait, stuff like that. And this can double purpose as like a sliding sinker fly line rig, straight fly line, or even like a dropper loop or reverse dropper loop setup. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for the tackle bag. Off to my best guess, that's mostly what you're gonna be seeing throughout this video. If we do run into the bluefin, it could be something special. So let's see what's gonna happen for tomorrow. And hopefully it turns out to be a great birthday trip for my dad. Hold it. There it is. You got some? Yeah. Nice. Can't sit it out. Four, please. Four. Thanks, Tim.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, f her. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Uh, 24. missed it but you see how I feed it to him and I still didn't feed it to him long enough single drop right now. Got it! All right, finally. Anchovy? Yes, no. Sardine. That was on sardine? Yeah. Really?
There you go, that's a keeper. Watch the weight. Fish too? Yeah, anywhere we can get a line wet. Fly fish? Uh, we've tried. I'm not very good at it. I need more practice. Yeah, it is. Nice one. Oh, nice. Nice one. That's a good one. Oh. Who is this guy named uh, Tom Mom or something like that? And we have this 30 foot tank car rod in the park. Yeah. For a speed, you know how you can't take the go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I don't even have a fish on Kind of a slow day, but picked up there at the end. Fun birthday trip still. Cheers. Happy birthday, Dad. Thanks, bud.